What's up, people? How are you guys doing today? We're coming at you from sunny Panama. On the Pacific side, we just got through the Panama Canal. So we're super excited about that, right? Right? This is this is our new crew member. Her name is Lucy. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, guys. I'm Lucy. I'm from Berlin, too, like him. We went to school together, and I wanted to sail anyways. So I'm glad I was able to join them. Yeah. Yep. We met Lucy in Berlin, and uh, oh, I'm sorry. And she decided she wanted to come with us, and she's been with us for almost a month, yeah? Yes. Ah. Tomorrow it's a month. Exactly. Nice. High five. Can we do a triple high five right now? Triple? No. Yeah, I got to work there. Nobody would have All right. So, what's. Oh, there, finally. It's working. So, what's going on? Why can't I. Why don't I have a chat here? That sucks. Maybe I can hide it? No. Uh-oh. How do I get it back? Show chat. Huh. Well, guys, I'm not seeing your chat, so I'm just going to go along writing. Go along with this thing. It'll, it'll come up. It's just... Okay, this is the reason I don't do live streams, because live streams require good internet and some preparation. A minimal, minimal uh, understanding of computers. A minimal understanding of computers, mm -hmm. which I don't have, and good internet. And any latency problems just makes it so crappy. It just, it's just us looking at the screen going, is this working? Is this working? So we're sitting outside an ice cream shop right now. Check it out. Ice cream. Yes. One, really one box of ice, ice cream. cream. Four dollars here. Which is a lot in Panama. Which is a lot everywhere. everywhere except for Venice. Okay. Let's talk about what we came to talk about. We have hit some crazy milestones this month. Uh, we have gotten 1 million views on YouTube, which is insane that 1 million people have seen my ugly mug. It's probably because of her. I think it was like 200,000 before she came on the boat, so we all know why that is. I'm going to show you guys my dashboard on the 20th of uh, February. This is the... Yeah, they can. And yeah, they can. You can see right here. And then uh, on 3 3, like today, it. Oh, they can't hear me. <laughs> so, anyway, we got like 2 million views on YouTube now, which is crazy. But I'm rounding up. It would take 100,000. But. It's been uh, a pretty pretty wild ride this month. Um, let's see. Uh, another milestone that we hit is that we got 20,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you guys 21, for subscribing. Is it 21 now? That's that's really cool. I think it's going to be 21. Um, we're three quarters of the way to our first goal on Patreon, which is like almost sustainable, so we can just bring you guys videos of us doing crazy adventures and we got through the Panama Canal like I just said um, let me show you some of the drone footage I have of that it is amazing so check this out this is from the lakes like right when you get through the, the Panama Canal you go in and you go into the lake and it is so pretty check it <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the lake. We also, when we got through the canal on our last block, they had us tied up to a couple of buoys and we got to like hop off on the buoys and play guitar and we had to wait there for like two hours. So here's some footage of uh, our girl over here is also a musician. We've been jamming. Come on. <laughs>
So right about that time, the uh, the drone just decided that it wanted to quit, and it said emergency landing, and I'm like 200 meters up, and so I'm like, Bang, get out here, get on the front of the boat. So she runs out, and I, I'm the drone's landing, whether I like it or not. So I'm flying the boat right towards the, or flying the drone right towards the boat, and she catches it, and then I, the drone shuts off, and then she starts beating me with it. <laughs> Dude, you almost killed me with that fucking You thing. almost killed me with that thing! That's you pretty, did! That's really funny. It's like 300 bucks a thing and you risked my life for that? Why'd you take my hat off? I, I like my hat. You look better with that head, that's why. Alright. Uh, another cool thing we did. I'm, I'm really sorry guys, but I, I'm not seeing any of your chats here, so... I'm just gonna keep going. Hi, hi to everybody, I'm glad you guys are, you, you guys are watching. But, check this out. I wonder if I reload the page. Ah, screw it. So we did a collaboration with Desiree and Jordan off of Atticus. If you did, didn't see their live stream, you can look for their last live stream, and we're on that one. It's, uh, along with Sailing Uma, Follow the Boat. Uh, they collaborated with a bunch of people because they drug anchors, and they got a lot of repercussions for it on YouTube. Like a lot of people. I didn't put that video in there again. Why not? This is a good video. You can see what we said about it. Come on, people are interested. So check it out. This is what we put sent to them. That's what I look at five o'clock in the morning. Well, it's ten. That's why you didn't want me to play it. <laughs> look <laughs> no, at her eyes. I'm definitely playing it now. Good morning, people. This is Sailing Zingaro. Uh, we were to talk about uh, if we have a drug or a dragging experience because. Dragging is a normal part of being a boater that is actually anchoring and not only chilling in different marinas and doing like some I, kind of marina hopping. I've never drugged. And they were all her fault. <laughs> so the last time, for example, we drugged was a nightmare. Not only it's not a big deal, you know, you drag a little and there's nothing happens, nobody's around you and you're setting the anchor again, but last time was crazy. Yeah, we tried to reset the anchor after we drug, and then the dinghy painter, because it's all going from zero to a hundred, yeah? You're suddenly <laughs> dragging, and before that we had dinner and we had fun. That sucks, this is a nightmare. I want to have an apartment, f boats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're good now. But I don't think I put enough road out, but I, I put like eight to one scope out, but every once in a while that mess is just drags. But you know what's cool is if that mantis drags, that Danforth always catches. Always have two, man. Always have two different ones. So. No, we were pressure. asleep. We were asleep. Yeah, but. It was like two o'clock in the morning. Whatever. It goes from nothing to craziness. So we feel the boat dragging and and we go, oh, okay, we're cool. We're, we haven't drugged very far. We're just going to pick up the anchor and reset it because we're a little close to this boat behind us. So we, we start <laughs> motoring up to the anchor and the damn dinghy painter gets caught in the prop on the, on the starboard side. So now it's, it's way in there too. And we're right next to another boat. My anchor's got not enough scope out. It's, it's blowing like hell and my dinghy has been pulled under the boat by the prop and it's sinking. <laughs> and I have to get in the water. It's like two o'clock in the morning. It came out of nowhere. It's yeah. always like that. It's always like that. So. Uh, always have a second anchor ready. That's that's safety because dragging the wind shifts and it just pulls you out. It just happens. Always dive your anchor. That's what I learned. Actually, I learned that from Riley on, on his little ebook that he when he first got started he put put out this little ebook. Who's Riley? Riley and Elena from uh, Saving Love Vagabond. Yeah. Yeah. Don't feel so bad, guys. It's all right. It happens. <laughs> it's all right. It happens to everybody. <laughs> I'm glad it there was. To the best. I'm glad there was people there to help you out. We would do the same thing and hope that someone else would do that for us too. Actually, they have. I have. I've done that same damn thing. I've drugged when I went spearfishing at night, and somebody else grabbed my boat and tied it to another boat. I came back and it was tied to another boat. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. So yeah, all you YouTubers and get on. Anybody else is asked for dragging. Yeah, don't be so melodramatic. Nobody's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace out, guys. Okay, okay. All right. Shoot, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that was our Atticus collaboration. That was fun, and I'm hoping that we'll do more of that. 
in the future, and maybe we can collaborate with more uh, YouTube channels. I would really like to do that. So we're going to start reaching out and thinking of different ways that we can kind of meld our community together a little more. Also, speaking of collaborations, there's another guy, uh, sailing sailboat story. He is awesome, very do-it-yourself kind of guy. Uh, he built, he recently built a sailing dinghy. And I'm glad he did because I really want to build a sailing dinghy. That's the one thing, the most important thing that I that I wish I had bought or, or the built. The most important. I'm serious. But, but bought or built before I left was a sailing dinghy. I have I've had nothing but problems with that portable. I mean, yes, it's still floating, but that's because I work on it all the time. If I had a, a, a hard fiberglass sailing dinghy, that'd be so we awesome. We should have a compilation of all the times you're fixing the engine after the oh, boat sunk or something. Yeah, we should have done that, right? I've, I've sank it like four or five times. What? Seriously. More? Yeah. Oh. in Colombia was like six or seven times. Think positive. I, yeah, it's but It's floated for like reality. 385 days. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We shouldn't sell that thing to anybody we like. No. <laughs> That's so funny. So yeah, anyway, um, he's building one. I'm going to show you just a little clip of him building it because he does really good videos too and I kind of want to um, promote him. He doesn't even know I'm doing this. I asked permission like this morning and I haven't heard back so hopefully he doesn't care. I'm sure he won't. Well, there comes a time in the construction of a chameleon sailing dinghy where you must literally saw it in half. And that time is now! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's harder than I thought it was going to be. Alright, this is the last little piece. Things not right. So, despite my literally sawing the dinghy in half, it is still one piece. I can't... That's funny, right? That guy's awesome. But I want a trimaran. She wants a trimaran dinghy. Yeah. We, we saw a guy selling one in Puerto Lindo for like four grand, which is, you know, like $3,900 out of my budget. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to build one out of driftwood and epoxy. Driftwood. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and some duct tape. Um, so, oh, guys, hey, if you can, if you want to message me real time, message me on Facebook. Go to facebook.com/slash svzingaro. I got my Facebook page up. For some reason, this uh, this thing's not working with the with the comments, but. If you have anything you want me to talk about or you have any questions for us, please uh, write me there. I'm not doing that to plug Facebook either. I'm never on that. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe that's... So, okay. One more thing before we get to the whole one of you want to come to Zingaro thing. You know about my sales, people, right? Look at my sales. It was even worse than this. So now the rip is actually all the way up to the top. And uh, I just spent yesterday climbing the, the jib and cutting away the sail so I could get it down so I could install the new ones! Yeah, that's nice. Good piece of leather here to as chafe protection. Looks good. This is the right color and the it's on the correct side. The main is super heavy. It's way heavier than the, my other main. It's gonna need a little bit more wind to get, get it going, but the but the jib's about the same, so um, we can we can start sailing with the jib more often, that's good. And then here's Dude, the, I can't wait. Here's the asymmetrical. fiberglass. I mean, it's not going to hurt it to be round. It's, it's kind of odd that it's round. You see? It's just a, a solid piece of fiberglass. Oh, I'm sorry guys. The, um, I forgot to turn the sound off again. Dude, I? I told you five <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> so, 
Uh, I, I don't know how to make these things start from the beginning. I, I actually like previewed them a little bit. So anyway, I got the, the new sales. I, I got them from Ullman Sales. Really cool people. Um, they, so, they gave me a little bit of a discount, like 5% discount, and they got them shipped out. I told them to ship them on Monday. So we got through the canal last weekend on Saturday. I called them on Monday. They said, okay, well, we're going to ship them out. They were here on Friday, and I got them on, or no, I'm sorry, Thursday, and I got them on Friday, which is yesterday, last night, late. So I just kind of opened them up this morning, and that was from this morning. So I'm super excited. They're not even on the boat yet. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, check the Facebook. So, yeah. so we're going to go to the Pearl Islands uh, maybe tomorrow. I think tomorrow. We're waiting here for a two things. One... I got a guy with a um, wireless wind instrument that sent me a wind instrument so I could like review it. He said, here, keep it whether you like it or not. I've never had a wind instrument on my boats. So this is my fifth boat. Uh, despite what YouTube thinks, I, I actually have a 100 ton license and this I've been sailing for a long time. I just I just like to make myself, you know, a little bit self-deprecating, not to make myself like, oh, look at me, I can do everything. You do that all the time. What are you, self-deprecating or look at me, I can do everything? The second. The second one? Yeah. Do I come off like that? <laughs> what are maybe, you doing? Maybe all day not long? when the camera is on. What do you think you're doing all day long? You're like, shut, <laughs> up, shut up. Shut <laughs> up. She's being stupid. Uh, so we're waiting for that, and then we're waiting for. We partnered up with these with these guys from Turt Sunglasses, <laughs> which is I, I think kind of not the best name, but their their mo is they're making uh, bamboo sunglasses. And they're each sunglass they they sell they donate five bucks to save baby turtles, so that's really cool. I can dig with that. You know, like I love baby turtles. I <laughs> don't pet the monkeys. <laughs> don't pet the turtles either. But here's his website. Check it out. So anyway, that's I don't know if you guys can see that in clearly or not, but uh, we're gonna go check the the. James, what was your sailing back background before the Zingaro? Oh, I was just talking about that. Okay, so my sailing background, let's see. This this is Mr. Casey Averett. I bought I okay, so this is the reason I went sailing. If you see my first video, you can see that I don't I, I um at the very end I not donated it. What's the right word? I I, I, I like presented at the very end like this is for Robert Mudd. Robert Mudd was a really good friend of mine. He was my roommate in the Navy and he died sailing around um, Maui. A big storm came in and his rudder snapped and we had gone sailing on that boat not too long before that and uh, it was his dream to sail the world. And after he died I was like you know what, what's really in this dream and so I started reading books and going on forums and, and reading about it online and it just kind of I fell in love with it and I bought a boat shortly after that um, I moved on to the boat uh, and I have been living on boats ever since it's been about nine years I think I've been living on boats right right before Delos started their blog is when I moved on to my boat and I just I followed them I followed the vagabond I I followed all these sailing channels and got all this information and read all these books and my life was sailing. I mean, like, I, every, I would take my boat out every time I, can, I could. My first boat burned down. Uh, first of all, the engine went out. The, 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 I wish I had pictures of that. Damn it. I'll have to do, I'll have to do another <laughs> live stream. Every time that. you're, like, scratching a long story, I already know. She's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, so. Right, Captain? The, no, listen. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. I was at work when it burned down. So listen, so the engine goes out on my boat. I sailed it like that for like a year, in and out of the slips in Marina del Rey. I thought I was kind of a badass, you know, like I, I'm not a bad sailor. Uh, and I decided I wanted to sell the boat and get a bigger boat and go cruising. So I sold the boat and my buddy was like, listen, I want the, the engine running before I buy the boat. He's my friend that bought it. So I hired a guy. I paid him 200 bucks. I left for work. My buddy on the dock called me and was like, hey, yeah, so your mask just fell down and your boat's on fire. And I had my scuba gear on it. My, I mean, I, I don't know how this crap keeps happening to me, but yeah, it, that really wasn't my fault. And, and to tell you guys the truth, I did not sue the guy because he was also living on a boat with his nine-year-old daughter. And I, like, what am I going to do? Take his boat? 
So it cost me like 15 grand and I didn't go after anybody. It was just one of those things. It wasn't his fault. It was an accident and Dude. that shit happens, right? Yeah. But now look, I've got my, my dream boat. I've got my dream woman. This is, this is, a, this is great. I, I, don't need to, I don't need to screw anybody over that. So after that boat, I had a bigger boat and a bigger boat and a bigger boat and a bigger boat. I ended up having like a 50 foot big old full keel monohull pig that sailed like a brick. And I wanted something that sailed nice. And so I, I sold that and I, I was looking around for a while and I found this boat for cheap. And it had nothing when I bought it. It didn't even have a radio. It didn't even have a radio. Okay, answer is... Oh, the, the answer is over? Answered. Okay. Yeah, look, I think when you do this, you can't read. Oh, look at that. No, wait. Oh. Oh. Let's just go to the, the, to the thing. And see if there's, I know there's one more question on here. Uh, love the show, can't get enough. You're a unique guy. Didn't know what to think at first, but but you grow on people. Yeah, sorry. At <laughs> yeah, least that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I can be a kind of a... I don't know. Oh, at least I'm I genuine. I'm like I'm me. This is who I am. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, glad I caught you. Love the collaboration idea. Try and do the same. The midlife crisis tour, the world tour on YouTube. <laughs> what the hell? It's, I'm not midlife crisis. Uh, you and Delos have hooked me onto sailing. Oh, that's awesome that you that you, like to be grouped with them, dude. They're like the masters of this, man. Uh, I've actually been looking for one. Got to learn to sail first. No, you don't. You can buy a boat without learning to sail. I mean. I, I hate to put that out on a recording, but that's what I did. That's what Riley did. That's what a lot of yeah, people do. Yeah, just cross the ocean first. Right? Yeah, just just do day sails and work up to ocean crossings. Hook a brother up. Teach me how. Well, it's funny you said that because now I can go into the other point. I was. Uh, oh yeah, dedicated, not donated. <laughs> that was the word I was looking for. Um, okay. Way hey, found your Facebook page just to say c congrats on the new sails and sailing with the winds just did Panama too. Yeah, actually, I we saw I, them. We saw them in the marina in uh, Puerto Lindo. Uh, didn't get a chance to say hi with them because they were in the marina and we were out at anchor. I, I think I think they came they came on to anchor a couple of days though when they were waiting to transit. So, last point, um, I would like to. She thinks this is a horrible idea. I think this is a good idea, but I don't want to launch it yet. So you guys are the first to, to know this, about me anyway. I would really like to give back to this community. I would have had to stop sailing and go back to working for six months or a year uh, if it wasn't for you guys. The, the YouTube, Patreon, people that subscribe, people that even just view the, the channel. I've learned a lot and I'm, I'm trying to make it really entertaining for you guys. At the same time, informative. So, two things. One, that Living La Vida Broca series that I'm making, I would like to package that when I'm done with it as like a learn to cruise kind of thing and just give it out. Or maybe charge like five bucks for it or something. Something small that people could, could have it. And here's like 200 hours of, of video on how to do like the essential skills needed for sailing. Second thing, right now, I would really like to open my boat up for people that want to get into this lifestyle and and the problem i have is talking to to kim she's like my vetting point you know like she just says that's a stupid idea you're gonna that's get not what, I said. No. Well, what did you say i say that you have to think about putting this out before doing it but not so late anyways no it's not too late i'm not saying i'm not launching this now i'm trying to get ideas if anybody has any ideas on how i can vet People. What I don't want is for 2,000 people to say, "Oh, free vacation on a on a yacht." Here you go. What I what I do want ultimately in a utopian world, I would have people that are just about to buy a boat or, or very serious about cruising, and they come down, and half of them get turned off to it. Their wife gets really seasick. They have never seen eight meter seas, and they don't like it. You know, I would like to actually like save people the, the, the trouble because it's yeah, it's, it's a very good idea. It's I love it. hard. But the idea is kind of in its baby stages right now, and I don't know what to do. So if you guys could help me out, maybe leave a comment on here on, on what you think, how I could vet people. That's my problem. Like, I don't want to reply to a thousand different emails on yeah, people that are just that. a little bit interested in it. You know, I got to have people that are really interested that will actually come. That way it's not wasting my time. Because I tell you what, to, for me to answer a few emails is way more difficult than 
for you to write those few emails. For me, it takes me 20 minutes to find a, a cafe, and then I gotta sit down, and then I gotta get the password, and then they, they, they tell me in Spanish the wrong password, and then it's not the right, the right internet cafe, so I gotta go to a different one, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. How often have we changed venue today already? Yeah, I mean, we, we did this for the patrons earlier, and we went to three different places during the live stream. And then yeah, the, really the second time, a big huge bus comes up and like, <laughs> parks right next to us. With this. That's funny. That's part of the adventure, man. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Hey, Casey again. Well, you inspired me to sail one day. Thank you, James and Kimmy. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Casey. Much appreciated, buddy. I really wish I had some uh, some text here that I could go off of. Usually, I'm, I'm, I'm a little more interactive with these things because I have uh, a chat. But today, yeah, for some reason, just it's just on, S, on S using R on Facebook. Yeah. So, if listen, you if you guys to. have any specific things you would like to know, hear, learn, or whatever, write me on either Zingar, SV Zingaro at Facebook or, or just comment on one of my channels. I read all the comments, even the bad ones. I don't I don't get affect as, as affected as I used to on the, on the Facebook trolls, but Kimmy does. So, you know, guys, try to, like, keep those to... to you do. You do. You don't like seeing that. I'm thinking somebody suggested I, I have... One of our mothers like vet the comments, and they they can go through and delete them. My mother doesn't speak English. She speaks good enough English. To delete all the boob comments about me. Well, we we can talk about that now if you want to. Yeah, let's do that. Really? Let's have that conversation. Okay, so people watch the videos that want to see boobs because you put boobs as a thumbnail. So you made that surprised. that cover was yours. You you made that thing. You stopped it right there and put that little scale yeah, there. Right. I just used the picture that you pulled out of that. So I'm just saying you shouldn't be surprised and it doesn't affect me at all. We should probably not fight on this thing. Yeah, that's why I asked if you really want to go there right now. <laughs> Hi James, I'm watching the live stream. Hi Johnny. Thanks buddy. Much appreciated, man. Um, we already introduced you, right? Yes. Do you have anything else you'd like to add to this live stream? No. Okay. <laughs> Lucy is a, man, is a woman of few words. Um, the next video that we're going to do is a video about Dyneema. Dyneema is like a synthetic rope that I'm, I'm in love with. And the, and, the, and, the girl, and the girls make fun of me for it. But, every, every time you do it, always said to this. <laughs> but this stuff is all over my boat. I use it for everything. I'm gonna, I have like 35 different uses for Dyneema. <laughs> Dyneema. Dyneema. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Yeah, that email. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's going to be probably my next Le Living La Vida Broca series is, um, is something having to do with Samson Ropes and Dyneema and Amsteel. And just explaining how to use it, uh, how to make a uh, Mobius Brummel splice, how to do a couple of different things. And once you learn a couple different knots with this stuff, it's really easy to use. It's called Dyneema. <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right. That was a good idea, Lucy. Jason says, love the show, can't get enough. Uh, how seaworthy is your boat today? Some of your videos give the impression that it's barely holding together. Would, would you cross an ocean with the way it is today? No, I would not. Because it's, let me, let me, tell you, let me explain to you something. <laughs> that last video that I put out with the tour and all the, all the stuff broken, most of that stuff is full. Like the stops for the engine and stuff, that, you don't really need that. Some of it is very real though, like the rigging. The rigging is falling apart. And I've replaced like three of the 12 cables. I've, I've got both backstays and the baby stay that are now Dyneema. What? Sorry. <laughs> and uh, so I've got like six more. And it's probably going to cost me about two grand in uh, materials to do it. And no. And I want to replace the four stay before I cross. So that's definitely going to happen. Um, I, I would really like to do a little bit more fiberglass work and paint, and I'd really like to haul her out. Fuck paint! No, 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 just the bottom. Oh, yeah. um, my, my thought is, I, I've seen one of my buddies, the Trimariner Lance from another video, he took, uh, let me see, just make sure I'm... So he took his boat, here's the mast, here's the hull, right? And he tied a line to, to a tree, a halyard to a tree, 
and then he put it up as close as he could to the beach. And when the tide went out, he had one hull hanging, so he was able to paint it. Yes, it's not the most safe thing, and uh, but why not? I mean, because you because if it snaps, it, it'll kill you. But the rig is very strong on a sailboat. All that rig, think of it as all one piece, you know? It's not like the mast is bending. It's it's being held on by a bunch of different points on that we side. We should definitely boat. do that. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to, I have everything we'll to do it. We'll put things underneath it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll put some supports underneath it. And then that'll take two days. We'll paint the, paint the hulls. The, the tide here is like 20 feet. So that's pretty cool. And then we, we'll be able to rock. What else would I change? Uh, honestly, the boat is very seaworthy. Every time I fix it, I make it better. So the rudders are more are stronger now, way stronger. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. It just doesn't look it's just, good it's just anymore. It's just because it's just because because of the entertainment value. I like for my videos to have more entertainment than and and a little bit of self-deprecating humor. And it comes off that everything's messed up, but really it's not. It's just mostly cosmetic. No, stuff. but I mean, yeah, exactly. It just does look as it just paint, looks a little rust stains. Yeah, yeah, it looks a little pirate. It needs paint. Before, no, I, really? if I was to sell it, I would just paint it. It would look awesome. And there were cracks in the front. I didn't. I found yesterday. You should take a look at that. The, the thing is, it's only got one layer of Biax Biax glass on it, so it, it does it does crack a lot. Give me one sec. There's a motorcycle leaving right now. Let's see. Last questions. Love you guys. F the haters. That's what I'm talking and about. Weirdos. And the weirdos. Thank you. Thank you, Max Sailor Cook. Yeah, somebody like offered to buy somebody's bathing suit. It's just like, dude, please keep that to yourself. I am not interested in any of that. We don't like. How much? That. How much should I pay for my bathing suit? <laughs> dude, if I just have to send it out, I'm never thinking about it again. I'll sell don't, my bathing suit. Don't. Oh. You're gonna look. This is online. You're just begging for more of that crap. Now it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. All right. Well, I'm I'm really sorry that I can't uh, thank all of you for watching, or re respond to each comment. But much love, guys. Um, oh, oh, oh! Wait. Before we leave, this is my cruising plans. Uh, we are gonna go up to. Um, so we're through the canal, we're going to go to the Perlis Islands, and then we're going to come back to Panama City, pick up the two packages I'm waiting for, and then we're, we're headed to Costa Rica. My brother is getting married at Disneyland in, uh, in California, so we're going to be in California at San Diego, LA, and San Francisco. If anybody wants to hang out, I would love to meet you guys. Uh, I, I'm going to hang out with one of my buddies I met on here, Mr. Cleveland Motley. I hope you're watching, buddy. Because I'm coming to stay on your boat. He's got another spin drift. What? Yeah. And uh, I'm taking Kimmy to her to America for the first time. To the US, United States. To, to US America, as she says. Uh, and then we're going to Costa Rica and we're going to, um, I'm sorry, we're going to go to Costa Rica, fly home, come back, and then we're going to go after that. I don't know. We're either going to cross from Costa Rica or go up to Mexico. I don't think we're going to go back down to Why, Ecuador. We're not gonna take not even far. I don't know yet. I don't know. It's still up in the air. But we're we're talk, we're in we're in the in, in talks with the manufacturer of, of getting a new catamaran. No, it's kidding. That's not happening. Uh, <laughs> we're in talks with each other about where to, to go north or south. I'd really like to go to Baja. She wants to go to Ecuador. I want to go to Baja too. But ultimately, this season, in the next six months, we are crossing the Pacific. And after I change my rigging and possibly build a, a sailing dinghy. I really want a sailing dinghy. Like, and we need another, we need another kite. We need a, a kite that's bigger. Yeah, if anybody wants a seven, a seven meter core kiteboarding kite, I'll trade you for a 12 or a 13 or 14 or 15. Okay, okay, come on. Something big? Not as big. It doesn't have to be We're in core. the Pacific now. We don't need a 13 meter I want kite. a big kite. I want a big one. You like everything which is big, yeah. yeah. So, I think I, I hit on everything. If you guys have any thoughts of how I can launch that that idea that I have and not, you know, totally kill my social life by, by responding to emails all day. Are you cruising life, really? Because my you cruising have to stay life. here and come and see. I know logistically it'll be ni a nightmare, but I'd really, really like for uh, for this to be. 
a congealed yeah, we'll idea. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, is there somebody in Panama City that could take us out tonight? It's Saturday. We don't know what to do. What time is it? It's already almost five. <laughs> yeah. We're we're late and we're running late on beers and we I mean, we don't really know where to go. So, what we don't want is to spend any money. Uh, yeah. Stay in a hostel. You know, we want to I'm very proud. Big announcement here that you guys might not know. We have not spent one night in a marina since I left Cuba, like over a year ago. Did we stay in the shelter marina? No. No, but <laughs> on the buoy that after the canal. That that, well, that's we didn't pay for that, oh, and that was. A <laughs> I have not. Yeah, I have marina. not paid for one night in a marina. That's I have. I think I have paid for a moor mooring buoy, buoy or two, but just because there was no other option. In certain places you can't anchor. Yeah, like. It's a, but I'm pretty proud of that. That's yeah, that's hard, you know. You have to be able to like sneak into a marina, steal their water, get out <laughs> real fast. We should make a video. We should make a video on that. Like dress up like raccoons. <laughs> raccoons. Or pirates. pirates. Can, dude, can we please pirates. make? Why raccoons? Can we please? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Just for fun. Okay, so we're gonna make a video where she's a ninja, she's a pirate, and I'm a raccoon, and we are gonna go into a marina with the boat, steal their water, and get the hell out real fast. And if anybody comes, we're just gonna like wave our swords at them, or in, in your case, a samurai sword. In your case? No, that'd be such a fun video. Okay, we're doing that. We should find a costume. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows about that yet. Now you just gave it away. You just gave it away. Be on the watch for the secret episode. <laughs> you guys are missing everything out <laughs> Nothing I can tell you. All right. Peace and love, guys. We got to go. Um, the next video is going to be one of our... What, what are we doing in the video? We're leaving Cayman Brock. No, we are in Cayman Brock. And we're going to Jamaica. We're arriving in Cayman Brock. Yeah. It'll be awesome. I built another rudder. You can see how I built it. So Again. many rudders you're building. Everybody's just confused. There's only two. Yeah, but we mentioned it so often that now, basically, in every video, we're missing a rudder. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna order all the videos in like numerical order to give you guys some kind of like order to watch. Are you talking? Are you serious? <laughs> Okay, she's the boss. You know what? I, I think that you should write the outline for this. That way I don't say anything stupid. No, oh, but you, you lose track and talk about stupid things anyway. Your outline was perfect. Alright. Thanks, YouTubes. Much love, guys. Thanks for watching. We love you. Bye.